Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Masterson, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing really good. If you don't mind, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. We'll cut it up while you're and do an intro before we air it. But if you don't mind, I'm just going to ask you a few questions here. Excellent. No, I don't mind at all. <laughs> okay, great. So tell me, what are some of the symptoms associated with menopause? Well, menopause, and it's Menopause Awareness Month, so it's really important to know that menopause is a normal and natural event. It starts when a woman stops having a period for a year. That's really important to know because you would normally think, yay, and that's a great symptom, no period for a year. But because um, menopause is really about the ovaries are decreasing in functioning and so you have a lack of estrogen, you have these symptoms that happen. And these are the ones that you hear about, hot flashes, difficulty sleeping, mood swings, um, fatigue, weight gain, and those are the no fun symptoms. Those are the ones that women don't like. And so these are, these are the symptoms that um, women need to talk about, that they need to talk about with their doctors so that they can get treatment. And how about postmenopausal symptoms? So postmenopausal symptoms, one of the big ones is vaginal dryness, and vaginal dryness can lead to pain with intimacy or pain with intercourse. That's called dyspareunia. That's actually a real medical condition. And um, it really, it's very, very common. One in three women uh, or suffer from this condition. And remember, postmenopause can last for 30 years. It's about one-third of a woman's life, and a lot of people don't know that. So this is something that you don't want to just accept. You want to make sure you start a dialogue with your doctor. And how can we encourage women and their doctors to discuss pain during intimacy, during like a normal routine exam? Well, you don't, you don't want them to accept this, this pain during intimacy. And so you really want to encourage them. You want to tell them to feel comfortable speaking with their doctor. Their doctor should, you know, ask them about this. But if they don't ask, they shouldn't be embarrassed about it. Because, again, that's why it started with it's a normal event. Your doctor's there to know about it, to know how to treat it. And this, I'm telling you, one in three women this happens to. So they know about this. So I'm, this is why we have Menopause Awareness Month, to take that away. Also, if it's not treated, it can become worse. So it's really important that you address this issue so that you can resolve the issue, even though there's, there are things out there that you can use. So following up on that, how can, we, how can women treat their symptoms? Well, there's, there are vaginal moisturizers and lubricants, but these don't actually treat the underlying cause. They're just a, a temporizer. They can alleviate some of the symptoms, but they don't actually treat the problem. And that's why it's really important to know that there is actually a prescription indicated to treat moderate to severe pain with intimacy during menopause. And that's why I am so thrilled to be here today on behalf of Duchenne USA to be able to talk about Osfina, which is a prescription medication. It's FDA approved. It's a once daily non-hormonal pill, which is really great because a lot of women don't like taking the using the vaginal preparations because they can be messy. But they shouldn't, um, don't let the non-hormonal make you think it's absolutely without risk. I mean, there's always risks associated with any medication. And because it acts, can act like an estrogen on certain tissues, it can cause it can be associated with endometrial cancer and cardiovascular disorders. So that dialogue with your doctor, your doctor has to get the right fit medication. So it's really important to have that dialogue with the physician. Where can my listeners learn more about this topic? They can go to osphena.com. That's O S P H E N A dot com. And again, that's O S P H E N A dot com. Thanks a lot, Dr. Masterson. This has been very interesting. I look forward to sharing it with my listeners. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good day. You too.